Hey guys, so hey. we are outside right now just doing our regular morning chores for chickens. Basically, it's like 11 o'clock, we slept in, and now we wanted brunch, so I got the determination that I needed to come out and get the eggs. Yep. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys a really quick video just kind of talking about how easy it is to do chickens in the wintertime. Um, right now, I believe it's like 20 degrees outside, it gets even colder at night, yeah. and we have about seven egg layers. So like I said, we live in upstate New York. It's really cold, really snowy. There's probably close to a foot of snow on the ground right now. And we're really fortunate that we have this chicken coop right here. So obviously every single day you wanna come out, you wanna check their water. We've added some things that make our life a whole lot easier, especially being in such a cold climate. Essentially, back behind this door here is where the chickens are. So back in here, obviously every single day, you're gonna to want to refill their water. One thing that I highly recommend that we added this year was one of these awesome like hot plates to go underneath the water. Um, it doesn't get super, super hot. I know I'm always really nervous just because obviously as you see Dustin right now, he's spreading some really dry um, straw. So it always makes me nervous, you know, the fire hazard and stuff like that, but this is great. Um, it really just keeps it warm enough to stop it from freezing. The other so. essential is gonna be a heat lamp for you. So that's what we have here. And we set up just a couple little roosting bars here um, for the chickens to use. Um, it was really super simple. We had this super old sawhorse that yeah. actually the old owners that lived here just kind of left in the barn. So we, we repurposed it into a little roosting bar, um, which yeah. works great. They seem to love it, so. Yeah, and it works great. Um, and then the other thing that we really love is one of these uh, gravity fed feeders. So this one I think is a 10 pound feeder. So we always come out and check it every single day just to make sure they haven't gone through it. But usually we only have to refill it, I would say, what, every like three days? Yeah. And the thing that's actually really cool about this group of chickens is that um, I want to say four of them we hatched from eggs last the, um, spring. Black and white ones, those are the mothers. And then these really pretty gray ones are their babies, which is pretty cool. At least I'd say like once a week putting out new straw for them um, just to keep down any smell or anything like that. In the winter, they are literally cooped up. <laughs> so um, definitely want to keep down on that. It doesn't smell at all in here. Um, and like I said, we do this every single week. And then the other thing too is just following up to make sure that um, the protection that you put in place for them is staying intact. For example, there's this hole here that our dog Rusty busted through. <laughs> so as a result, the hens have been able to hop through here and lay their eggs on the other side where they shouldn't be. So that's something that we're gonna fix later today. So um, that just gives you a basic idea of what, you know, taking care of chickens on a daily basis would be like. Yeah. Um, it took us not even five minutes. No, not even. And there's not really much of a difference between having, you know, six or seven and, you know, 12. So. You know, if you have three or four in your family or uh, a bigger family, then, you know, it's not too much harder to have more. Yeah. And the, and the winter really isn't that bad, as long no. as you put the systems in place to prevent everything from freezing, exactly. I would say. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Let us know what you think of the video. Right. Thank you. Bye.